Hello friends and uh, welcome to yet to one more episode of uh, my channel which is how to tech and today we will be showing you the alternative way of how to go ahead and uh, format a write protected SD card. So uh, friends if you were aware we uh, did show you the method 1 and you can find the method 1 in already the link that I'll be uh, mentioning in this particular video. Uh, so uh, we will be discussing about method 2. In method 1 we uh, showed you that how to download the SD card formatter software and then you know uh, format the right protected SD card but if this does not work for you then you might be interested in method 2. So uh, method 1 is obviously a simple plain you know install and then use the software. Method 2 however uh, you know needs you to go through the regedit so uh, uh, those who are unaware of um, regi regedit it's, it's actually a, a sort of registry for your you know pc so uh, let's not go into those technical details we'll just you know uh, type in windows r which will bring you to the run uh, screen and you have to type in regedit and place uh, you know uh, press enter uh, once you press enter, we do, Windows uh, would be asking you, uh, do you want to allow this program? All you need to do is uh, select yes. After you have selected yes, you will be, uh, you know, uh, brought into this particular screen where you are uh, given the options of H key, uh, classes and users and local machines. So all you need to do is uh, just um, you know, minimize the screen a bit so that you can see a bit clearly what needs to be done. So uh, as written, navigate to the catalog H key local machines. So we need to go to H key local machines. Uh, then go to system. So I'll select system from here. Uh, go to current control set. So I'll select current control set from here. Go to control. I'll be selecting control. Now, one of the most important thing is under control, it might happen you should be seeing ideally a, a folder called storage device policies but in most of the cases you might not see that you know particular this particular uh, folder storage device policies so let me scroll down and see if my computer has storage device policies or not so mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is in windows i'm using a windows so so i do not have it seems a storage device policies storage management is there but no storage device policy so in that case we need to create it okay it's a very simple friend so just copy this particular storage device policies okay right click now it said already right click on the current control catalog so i'll go up okay and go to current control catalog all these are under it it's like subfolders are under current control uh, catalog so i'll just go ahead and right click on control go to new okay key i'll select in key i'll paste these storage device policies over here press on enter okay now i'll go inside storage device policies i'll be able to see a default thing with a registry type as regsg so what needs to be done is right click on the storage device policies and select a new value for the parameter D word for a 32 bit OS or Q word for a 64 bit OS respectively. So what does this technically mean? So do not get confused by these technical jargons. I'll just right click over here, go to new. If you're using a 32 bit, you'll create you click on the 32 bit value if you're using like me i am using a 64 bit so i'll be clicking on the 64 bit one and then once you get the new value has one you have to rename it to write protect okay so i'll just come up you know copy in the write protect from my notepad I'll press an f2 write protect enter and then double click by default there is zero i'll set it to zero okay that's it you're done you're done in under about a couple of minutes that's it no need to go through this uh, boring things whatever i've written you can just follow my video now let's see if this works so i'll go to my computers earlier it was this particular um, drive which was the experiment i'll enter i'll select dcim i'll go to canon since i'm using a canon dslr 
so this was a particular you know image which I was unable to it was right protected I it was read only so let's see if we can go ahead and delete it now okay so I'll go to properties so now it's not read only it's only archive so I'll try to delete it now okay right click delete let's see and voila it worked so thank you so much for watching my second video and I'll come up with more methods uh, to go ahead and help you guys to you know uh, format the right protected SD card thank you guys and if you like this video please go ahead and give us a big like and know us your comment if you're unable to do anything please let us know through your comment so that we can help you out bye bye have a nice day